Well, hi guys, it's Scott V again, in my Hexit world, where it's just endless fun, never know what you'll find next. Um, I did go out here and conquer the little, uh, the little ship with the sort of skeleton on the sail. I haven't been to the big one yet. Frankly, I'm most interested in this little dude, the sunken ship. Let me see here. It's close enough to the surface. I'm thinking I ought to be able to get down to the deck. Of course, it's probably full of water, but I ought to be able to get down to the deck at least. I should have brought some night vision and some water breathing potions, but it's really right here. Look at that. So, it's only eight levels, eight blocks deep. So what I usually like to do with underwater it, uh, items, I like to do a little shaft. Where you start with one crunchy, ha, huh, or a soft layer in the middle. In this case, dirt, sometimes gravel or sand is, is easier or quicker. Sometimes I like to do a, a, a soft center of two because I'm going to dig a pillar around and then dig this out and put ladders going down. At least that's the plan. And sometimes I like to have a, a, a second column in the ladder shaft to put torches in. But this one looks like it's really not that far down, so... Alright, well there we have it. A shaft down to the sunken ship mystery. Woo! Now this I should have my building materials. I typically try to keep in one pack or the other, and I can never remember which pack, but either way, they're all good, as long as I've got them with me. So this should go down and then hit wood. Or dirt. One or the other. There's the bottom. So I am now officially at the sunken ship. The question is, what the heck do I do now? That's a good question. Let me see if I can go slightly up the ladder backwards. All right. This is probably going to be full of water. Yep. So let's see. Hey. Do not want to go down there and drown. I'll tell you that much. I said I don't want to go and drown. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that's going to be a challenge. Ah! So, hmm... How do you explore a ship that's full of water? That's an interesting challenge. Now, the easy way, of course, would be get a water-breathing potion. But, I'm thinking... Hmm, if the ladder wasn't there, I could drop gravel down there. That's going to be difficult. Well, anyway, I made a first first pass at it. Hmm. That is an interesting problem. There's some kind of currents down there, too, that kept sucking me out from right underneath. Now if I could get down there and block off, well, water is so difficult. Let me see what we're dealing with here. A deck with a bunch of holes in it. All right. Should have brought some glowstone blocks. Huh. The hull is reasonably intact. It's just full of water. Oh, there's some holes right there. And plugging the holes won't help because the inside is still full of water. I wonder if there's a more sturdy place to go down. No, it's full of holes, full of holes. Full of water, alright. So clearly we have to block the holes and start pumping it full of gravel and then gradually remove the gravel to get us air space. Ah, uh, this could take a while. So I had to uh, teleport back home and get a few more supplies for this uh, 
trying to salvage that sunken ship. Well, it's not even so much salvage, I just want to go check it out, because it's cool. Well, let's see, getting all the things I'm going to need. Should have thought of all that first, I suppose. But you never know. Let's go down here, test out some new potion recipes. Now these potion recipes from, I think, Project Zulu, I don't expect them to actually appear. They don't appear in any eye. But I was looking it up, and apparently if I add a uh, shiny bauble to awkward potions, <coughs> it'll give me shiny potions, which if you drink it, you'll give off a glow. So comically, I might bring one of those with me so I can be all glowy underwater. That could be fun. Now let's check my... I did not bring down any redstone. Everyone knows you need redstone to brew potions to increase the length of the effects. And I've got gobs of redstone right up here in the kind of red chest, so I'll bring down a stack of that. Sometimes it's fun just go trying all these different missions. They all have various parameters for survival. I still find underwater missions are just about the most dangerous. Although I suppose if they was under uh if they were under lava missions, they might be more dangerous. Anyway, a gill added to a shining potion is supposed to provide a potion of water breathing. Yeah, let me see if I have uh I have a couple of water bottles, so I can make another batch for later, leave it cooking while I'm out. So, this should be water breathing, and normally I do these in batches of three, because you get more out of your materials, but I wanted to save one shiny potion. Oh, it's only 45 seconds? Bah, humbug. I wonder if you can increase that duration with a piece of redstone. Well, that's what we're here to find out trying to sort everything out for myself and for anyone who's interested in watching. All right. Okay, potion of water breathing. I guess my hands are full. How is that possible? I just left not 10 minutes ago. I'll put some... All right, so I'll take you off. Put the water bottles up there. The very first step is an awkward potion, which uses, of course, uh, another wart. So that'll make the awkward potions. It's really a very strange magic brewing system here, but like everything else, it's fun once you it's fun to try to learn the parameters or what it was the uh, developers were thinking. So I'm gonna after that, that'll make me three awkward potions, which is kind of an awkward name. The gill will make it water breathing, and then the redstone will increase the duration of that. So I'm not going to take them all with me. I have 36 minutes of water breathing here, and 45 seconds of glowy power, and some glowstone. So I should be set this time. Uh, partly I just needed to go over and check the, the depth and a few other things and kind of, kind of scout it out. So water breathing, three minutes. Wow, yeah, adding the redstone adds 15 minutes to it. All right. If I'm going to live inside, I might as well, or at least walk around inside. I might as well put the glowstones where they will do the most good. Well, that was weird. It's like a column of water there. It must have been a fence post. Well, let's just plug some holes with glowstone. That way it'll be glowy on top and below. Oh, this stuff is deep. All right, it's the, the planks there are two planks deep. So the glows don't do us any good below decks. But let's see. I'll plug one more hole. And so now there's a little light on deck. Wasn't expecting the hole to be two planks thick. Interesting design. I was hoping that the glowstone, like I said, would work. Like right there, you do that, and that light is good for above deck and below deck. Oh, I just missed it over there. Phooey. If I had dropped this one just one block further over, that would have been more effective. Alright, well, now there's some light. I kind of want to test out the, uh, it, it's time to test out the water breathing potion. 
I should get the little blue swirlies around me. And is that really, really 18 minutes worth? Does it really let me breathe water? Do I really want to find out? Yep, my water meet my uh, drowning meter, as I call it, is not drowning me. So the things we want to do under here. Let's see. Cool. It's another deck down below. There are chests. Oh, the chest is empty. Oh, that's not much of a reward. I'll take it, but it's not much of a reward. I think the main thing to do while I'm breathing underwater is plug holes. Plug them. I don't want any more water getting in. And I don't want to fall through any holes and die either. Because dying is always such a bummer. And I guess I can put some of these in here. Whoa, fun. Alright, two, two. That's no good. That's no good. That's no good. Now the real trick, oh man, is going to be pumping out all this darn water. Uh, one of the fastest ways to do that, of course, is you fill the area with uh, wool and then you set it on fire. But that only works for stone structures. You don't want to do that in a wooden structure. Of course, how often do you run into a wooden structure below water that you can actually explore? Hey, I'll use this to block that hole. All right, so here is the ship. It's another hole down there. Interesting. There were chests, not really much in the way of goodies. I don't know if you can get below decks or not. I suppose right there. Oh, that looks totally safe. How much time do I have left? 16 minutes. That's plenty of time. Huh. Why is this that way? Alright. So if I wanted to occupy it, I'd have to fill it with... Uh, I'd have to fill it with something and pump out the water, but for now... Huh. This is not particularly useful. Then there's the bottom. Alright, well... So there is no real deck below that one. This is really only the one deck. So I guess the rest is just kind of traps to fall into and die. More ways to be sad in a hurry. Alright, well... What's going on here? There's glass? Alright, plug that. Plug that. I only got one left. Is that glass? Or probably ice, considering what we got going on here. Now, did I bring some gravel? I brought some dirt. This is always an interesting process, where you put down a... Uh, get rid of water, first of all. Oh, that one I have to leave unplugged. Duh, that's my way in. How you get rid of water in this freaky world? That's stairs, all right. Is you pretty much kind of just delete it. You put something else, non-water, in there and wipe it. Oh, the water is readjusting. That's going to be interesting. And working underwater takes a longer time unless your tools have aqua infinity enchantments. So that's going to be difficult to, to get the water out. Let me see here. What's going on here? That's the upper deck. So that means water is going to come flooding in there, and there, and there. Alright, let's check our pack. What else do we have to build with? Lots of cobble, but that's not good for underwater because it's hard to break. But for now, for plugging holes, it'll be fine. Well, let's see what happens here. D gotta remember where my exit is. Uh, let's see if we get rid of more of these. Optimally, initially, you just want a little room to breathe.
So let's see if this will give us a little breathing room. Cut down the amount of water. Seems to be working. And back there is air. Look at that. Weird system, but it works. You really do have to contend with some wicked currents, though. But there, we've managed to delete a good chunk of the water already. Next block is going to be over here. It's creepy down here. I don't like it. And then you... that should cut down most of the water. And you bust them from the top down, and the water goes away. Alright, that's funny. I had somebody stop by, and I was a little bit concerned that when I logged out, that the game would count those minutes against my uh, water breathing potion. That would kind of suck. But no, I still have 12 minutes of water breathing left. And sometimes you just, if you can just get rid of the original source blocks, this is interesting. It looks like it's not, it was not really full of water. I don't mind if it's up to my waist in water. I do mind if it's over my head. So let's see, we can put uh, some block right there, cut that one off. Yeah, so I do mind if the water goes over my head. There's going to be more water up there. But I can hit that for, oh. Water is difficult. It is very difficult stuff to get rid of. Not as bad as lava, but nothing is as bad as lava. Okay, so that did cut off most of the water. Like I say, I think I'm going to leave the the ankle deep water just just to remind myself that I'm below the surface. And this will be a neat little uh, spot. Almost done clearing it. And there's no like I say, there's no real point to it other than as like an engineering challenge. I do enjoy trying to work out new problems in the game, so that cut those blocks. So it's weird, it looks like they were water source blocks at the top and at the bottom, but not in between. So, at least the back cabin should now be clear of water. Alright, so I do have to work this problem out in the next few minutes. Or I cease to breathe. Alright, let's see here. I'll try and stay up. Patch the floor. Kind of the ultimate safety drill situation. Alright, so... What are we gonna do here? Let's patch it. Alright, so... How much more time do we have to breathe? Seven minutes. Ah, okay, about that. I think it's one more level. Oh, keep water getting everywhere. That's the water. Okay, well... Since I'm still water breathing, that's a hole if someone is. Don't want to fall in there. Since I'm still water breathing, I'm going to sneak in here. I'm just going to walk in this hole right here. I'm going to water. It's going to get really dark. I'm going to run out of the stone. I'm going to stone right here. I'm going to the ground. It's pushing me out. I don't want to go out. I want to stay in. I'm going to put this here for a moment. Now that's dangerous. Alright. Okay, get some air, get some air, get some air. Got air to breathe. Here's good. Now I'm on the water again. Now I'm not. See what we can do here. We've got to make some progress in the next few minutes. We're die trying. Perfectly not that. Alright, let's buy these guys. The level is not going down the way we expected to. It means there's another leak overhead, I believe. There we go. The water's level starts going down, and we're going to keep those there, I suppose. And we're going to run out of stone blocks, though. Huh. Well, let's try to cut this hole right there. Alright. It's really not going to make any progress to get around this top layer. Alright, let's check away at it. Alright, let's all back up again, huh? Well, these fluid dynamics are really difficult. Let's see. Let me out of here. Check how much time I got left. Got four minutes to figure this out. Hmm. Also, I have to throw in there. Gravel is good. Four minutes, huh? I can do it. Because it's acting really strangely. I think I've got a leak somewhere, but... Usually get rid of water by filling up with gravel or sand, then popping it out. But this is an interesting, really stubborn batch of water blocks. Alright, there's two more. Check my other pack. Right, nothing useful in there. No. Nothing useful in there. I got stone blocks. It's not really what I wanted. Stone bricks, but let's see. I'm just going to have to fire these off. Get this top layer out of here. There we go. For you guys. It's a little more coming from that direction. And now you're down at any level and I'm not worried anymore. Alright. And the water's all gone. Except for that one. Ah, pushing me totally out of the boat. Alright, so 
Oh, that's my pretty mastered it. Hey, there's plenty of water right over here. I'm thinking the forward hole is going to take another water breathing potion to clear, but anyway, it's a different challenge than it was obviously because I think the logic I plant but that result is cool. And I'm using the time of the water breathing potion. I was able to tell it's this boat, or at least exit airspace so I could explore the thing. It's not okay, water's just past this. There's some light, and the water breathing is almost out. I think the right here is where it gets wet again. A little bit of water spot right there, I'm not too concerned. So that leaking to the outside, kind of. It's kind of leaking from the other side. That's weird, not really big water over there. Oh yeah, that stuff. Fine, let me get bone dry. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. I said it drains out in the hole there, but still. Better than that water. Alright. And there we have it. And my water breathing has ended, and I am trapped down here for all of eternity. And there was really nothing good in the chest to make it technically worthwhile, but... Watch for water pouring in. Alright. At this point, I can just do regular torches. So, alright. Well, I came to explore the uh, sunken ship. And I made myself a really out-of-the-way lair. So I'm going to probably get another water-breathing potion, clear the front cabin, explore a little more underneath. But first, I need a way out of this crazy place. There's the ladder coming down that way. And let's see. Don't ask me how I got all this junk in my hand. Okay, the water bottle I don't need. That's handy. You don't need a bowl. Don't need, well, a bucket. I could bail out some water. Alright, let me put this in the number two slot. One, two, three, four. Cool. Now I can go in and out as I want. Well, I'm still salvaging the ship here. Uh, make Well, making it livable. Essentially, once you get a good rhythm going, you really just want to... Uh, Pack away at it, start filling in at the top. If you hit water, try to plug it from two blocks back, and then just advance forward. So, I'll give you an example. Here's one. It's going to have water, and I don't want to place it one block back. I really want to go two blocks at a time, if possible. And it'll push you around a little bit. Two blocks back. Two blocks back. Oop. Get out of there. Get out of there. Two blocks back. And you can really fill in pretty quickly that way. Hey, get, get a bunch of those for free. Alright. Now I know there's water diagonally in there. But if I can get two of them, great. Nail two of them, great. I've actually done a lot of underwater construction just because of the extra crazy challenge of it. And these corner ones. Luckily that's almost done. And since I got two of them at a shot, this whole next row should be clear sailing. Ha ha ha. So I really don't know how much farther there is to the front of the ship. Let me take a look. It seems to be narrowing off a little. I don't know if there's any more... Oh, I got three of them that time. So I don't know if there's any more holes in the roof. It seems to be winding down. Alright. There's water there. Water there. And it's narrowing down, so I should be getting close to the edge. And I'm not seeing any other chest, but I just do these for the fun of it. Couple more. Let's see, I oh, naughty block. I wanted to go right there. Fill them all in. All right. Now there's some water down behind this one, but I'll take that out. One. One more. Oh, I think that's the front of the ship, actually. 
tempted to install a little bit of glass in the deck overhead. There we go. I believe that one is... Oh yeah, I put that glowstone at the very front of the ship. So, here is our sunken ship in all of its glory. There's a mast up there. That's cool. The fences keep the water out. That has some potential for design. Alright, well... And it's raining. Really? It's got to be raining down my ladder while I'm salvaging a uh, ship underwater. Alright. Well, you can also walk around on top of the deck. That's interesting. I wonder why that's all piled up there. I guess, yeah, there was a little more standing room right there. Alright. There we go. Those are the fences. That's an interesting thing. They pushed me up half a block. And sure enough, very front of the boat has got the uh, the glowstone that I dropped in there. But I'm not seeing any more chests or any more whatever, so... I think we nailed it. 